Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be like a super quick, short video. I just got back from the gym. I have stuff to be doing, but I wanted to sit down really quick to just talk about this book because I have a lot of feelings about it and I have a YouTube channel where I can just talk about books. So um, this is going to be my very strong thoughts and emotions on the crown of gilded bones by jennifer l armentrout it's going to be non-spoiler for most of it and maybe at the end if i get really heated i will talk a little spoiler things but in my personal opinion i don't like any context at all because then you can kind of figure out context clues and guess what's happening sometimes so if you don't want to know anything about it um just don't watch it. If you just want to generally know my general thoughts about it, I'll talk about that first. Then I'll go into my opinions on some very, very vague things, themes, things happening. But um, I'm not really going to give any spoilers, so you can still watch it if you're curious on my thoughts about it. But this is the third book of the Blood and Ash series. I loved the first and the second book. I gave them both five stars. One thing about those two books is they were both super slow in the beginning and then stuff really started happening at the end and i think she like um heard everyone's feedback and was like okay bet and the first hundred book books the first hundred pages of this were insane i could not believe the things that were happening um they were amazing they were that was five stars material amazing and then in the middle it was just so slow and really slow and a lot of like kind of world building stuff and stuff about the gods and at that point I did not care about the gods I didn't care um then I <laughs> was also dealing with the fact that I thought that the spinoff series for like a while was going to be about Kieran and I found out that the spinoff series is actually just about like the gods and I did not want a whole spinoff series about the gods and um basically the middle started getting really slow I stopped reading it I think I stopped reading it first because I was reading a book from my friend's book club that I still didn't finish in time but that was um House of Touch of Darkness and then I started reading this again and then I stopped reading this for my readathon and then I started reading this again and so it is kind of my fault but this book put me in such a reading slump and I would just pick it up and I would be like oh my god it's more just like stuff about the politic history or the gods history and I did not care at that point about it I was so tired of it I wanted more exciting stuff not a lot of exciting stuff was happening um the main couple was just in a very comfortable place and it was nice but then it was just kind of boring which is sad but sometimes it just gets a little boring and I was in such a reading slump I could not read this it was really rough to get through it and then at the end it started picking up again and at that point I was like we know you have the capability to make things crazy and insane and her plot twists are unbelievable they are out of this world I never see them coming like I know there's gonna be a plot twist but I can never guess because they're they're very very good but I'm like take like literally 200 pages out of this and it would have been amazing it was just finally got too slow for me in the middle and I'm a very very patient reader I am very like forgiving when it comes to slow sometimes I like things to be slow so me saying that it was way too slow really means a lot um but at the end it was crazy there were plot twists um that is my general opinion about the book I'm gonna g generally vaguely talk about some stuff that occurred at the end but very vaguely um so if you don't really want spoilers just stop watching now but there's nothing I'm not gonna say anything specific but at the end we I was very upset and not in a way of like oh it's a cliffhanger like I'm excited for the next one like I legitimately felt like in distress 
for the characters and not in a way that I was enjoying the book, like in a very unenjoyable way. I was not happy. And there is um, an implied, it's an implied sexual assault. And it's, it's just applied that a character could potentially be being assaulted and that is just very very upsetting and it's a character that you're made to care about and the idea that that could be happening is very like I felt sick to my stomach I was very upset and then as I continued reading towards the end I I really don't think that is going to be happening in that and basically like when we're left off like this like now I have to wait until March and the fact that a prequel is going to come out like it's not a prequel but like it is because like it, it's a separate story about the gods way in the past but like the fact that that's going to be coming out and I still don't know like what's happening to this character is upsetting to me I don't I'm not happy about it I have to wait this whole time and in my mind it's kind of like this can be going on the whole time like we have to wait a space of time to find out what is happening just like the characters in the book will have to wait out a space of time but um i'm i just think that that insinuation of sexual assault in this is not necessary that it literally could not be included and there could be an insinuation of torture and that would be fine like that that's its own thing and I just don't think that that was necessary and I don't think that that's enjoyable for me and I'm really upset about it but like I said when I finish the book I think it's being insinuated and then I think I don't think it's gonna happen I think we're going to find out in the fourth book that like it didn't really happen but just the fact that it's insinuated that it could be happening is making me very upset and I'm a little more over I was very very upset like I literally felt like sick to my stomach like reading it and that combined with the fact that it was so slow in the middle and now towards the end I do care about the gods a little more I'm like okay it's kind of I'm a little intrigued really while I was in the middle and just stuck in a reading slump I was reading this for like three and a half weeks and could not get through this and um I was just mad at Jennifer L. Armentrout for making a book that I cared about the character so much that I would have to read all these books in the series. I think there's like three more and then there's one from the guy's point of view and then there's like three in the, like the shoot off series and I'm like why it's just so many and I have to read all of them because I care about the characters but I'm I think I am looking forward to the the side series that's coming out in like October a little more now but I don't think I'm gonna enjoy it and if I don't and but she said that there's like important information about characters that we know that will be like discovered in it so like I have to read it <laughs> I have to read it which if I really don't like the first one of the shoot off series I think I'll just watch a spoiler filled video for the rest of them and maybe continue reading this series still but yeah all in all I gave this a three star um, the other one's got five stars. This one got a three star. If it was literally like you take out like 200 pages, like all of this could have happened like 50 pages or like oh, of the middle and then the the rest, the beginning and the end, excellent. Except for the part I talked about and then the middle, it was just so long and unnecessary. But that's my thoughts. Thanks for listening and um, tell me if you want to read this series. Um, well, you've heard about this series because I know a lot of people have said like the first and second book are really really slow at parts and I think that has dissuaded a lot of people but it's also super super hyped so I know that a lot of people still want to read it tell me what you thought non-spoilery so it doesn't spoil for anyone or message me privately and I would love to chat on Twitter or Instagram I'll link those both down below but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye